Welcome to today's session of Questions and Answers with Pastor Anthony, where your questions will be answered by what is written in the Word of God. All right, welcome to today's session of Question and Answers with Pastor Anthony. Thank you for answering those questions for us. It's well, been helpful. Thank you. All right. So today's question, it says, if we were created to have dominion, why don't we see a lot of Christians in key, leader, in key leadership uh, and political positions making godly decisions? And then how can a believer stay true to their beliefs in these positions? Well, that is a very good question uh, because from a scriptural standpoint, God actually wants faithful leaders who will be able to flow with his heart. Because the Bible says that it's righteousness that exalts a nation. Yes. And when the righteous are in authority, the city will always rejoice. Yeah. And so what we need to understand is anytime someone is in any position, then they've got to understand that that position is to, number one, serve the Lord in it. Because the Bible tells us in Colossians 3.23, whatever you do, do it as unto the Lord. So the number one thing you need to do in that particular position that you are in, do it as unto the Lord and not unto men. Right. Why? Because when you're serving God, then you can serve the people of God. And then the second thing you've got to understand is you are a leader and you are serving the people. Paul was able to say in Corinthians, uh, I, think it, I believe it is um, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, where he was saying, imitate me as I imitate Christ. Mm -hmm. So anybody who is in any position should understand, I can never set up a standard that I'm not living myself. Right. So any decision I make, I must personally be able to live by that decision and don't expect people to live by that decision apart from me. And so as a leader who is in the position of authority, I serve the Lord first, then I understand that I live my life in such a way that the decisions I make, I also have to live by them because mm -hmm. I'm not making it for the people, I'm making it for myself as a people also. Then the next thing we need to understand then, that I must have a purpose and I must have a vision because the moment you get into any position, there is a lot of pressure that will come to you that if you don't have a purpose and a vision, you might be gotten out of your position of authority and begin to do things that are not right or in line with the word of God. So we have to understand you must stay with the purpose and you must stay with the vision and when you stay with the purpose and the vision, that will help you fulfill what God has actually called you to do in that position. Then what do you do to maintain that position? You must always humble yourself under the Lord. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and he will exalt you. In other words, the more you humble yourself, the more God is able to exalt you because you understand who God is and who you are. Without God, you will never be able to step successfully in that position. You can be in that position and without God, you will derail, derail everything with it. So for the other believers, what are they supposed to do for this band of leaders? First Timothy chapter 2 says about that we need to pray for everyone who is in authority so that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in godliness right. and in all honestly, for this is good and acceptable in the eyes of the Lord. So in other words, once a leader is in the position of authority, other believers should be able to pray for them because your prayer is going to do something through that office to cause you to lead a quiet and peaceable life. Mm -hmm. If you do not pray for them, there is pressure that is coming towards them that if you don't pray for them, they could be blinded in that particular area and make decisions that are not worthy to be made. That is why when someone is called into a position of authority or they step up into any position, they must always understand, one, I'm serving the Lord. Two, I'm serving the people of the Lord as I'm serving the Lord. Number three, I have to stay humble so that God can continue to strengthen me and everybody else, I expect them to pray for me so that I can be able to make the right decision so that everybody can live a quiet and peaceable life in all honesty and godliness, which is good in the sight of the Lord. Wonderful. Yeah, always remember to pray for them because it's difficult up there to be in those positions and we need all the, we, we all need to pray for them so That's they right. can make the right decision because the Bible says that the, uh, the, the heart of the leader is in the hands of God and God can turn it Amen. whichever way. So always remember to pray for them. So thank you for that question, answering that question for us. Uh, please submit uh, any question that you might have. So we'll be happy to answer that for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today and stay blessed.